Hello everybody! Well, here we are again in Path of Exile, and I haven't visited this game in quite a while, so I thought I'd, well, just pay it a visit. And we're not going to do anything really special here, I'm just going to play for a little while and talk to you about it. And we're just going to, yeah, give this game a visit. I think it deserves it, because it is a pretty good game. Hmm. So... We're in the crossroads right now, and we're looking for the waypoint. So let's get around here and see what we can find. I thought I already had this one marked, but like I said, it's been a while, so I guess I'm mistaken. The build that I'm going for here with this character is a power archer. The idea is that she only ever has to take one or two shots to kill anything because she's particularly strong. She also has this skill, which summons spectral weapons to help her fight, which is kind of neat. And for an archer, is a little bit useful because they can keep other enemies at bay if they actually show up from time to time. But they don't last very long. And the AI isn't very good. But you can see they're not coming right over to attack me because the spectral weapons are keeping them busy, so that's nice. She has a few other tricks up her sleeve. She has, on the right click, a frost arrow that has sort of blowback damage. Oh, here's a boss. Yeah. Well, he wasn't actually a boss, he was just a special. And what I mean by blowback damage is, let's see if we can find a group of monsters. Oh, they're just one. Oh, here's the waypoint. Very nice. We're not ready to go back yet, though. So here we go. You can see when it hits someone, it flies back and affects those behind them. So that's good AoE skill. Also have a flame arrow. Just does extra damage in case we run into an enemy that is cold res or yeah cold resistant. Then we have bleed. This is mostly for bosses because it does a damage over time. So even while I'm dodging and running away, I can still be doing damage to them. And then there's multi arrow, and that just acts like a shotgun in case there's a bunch of enemies. I want to take care of all at once. Oh, we need to level up more. There we go. Let's use bleed on him. Some cold. Slow him down. No problem. Nice and easy. This is actually a little bit easier than I suspected it would be with this setup. Yeah, it looks. It turns out you can generate a lot of power with an archer, a lot of damage rather, with an archer than you can if you're going for the speed build, which is what my other character normally is. There I'm trying to make an archer that can shoot so fast that even though it does low damage, it still can keep up the DPS because it can deliver so many arrows down, down the way. And apparently they're celebrating St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta buy them though. Anyways, there's a book in here somewhere and a tree in the way. So let's see if we can find that book. Ooh, those guys have multi shot as well. That's kind of neat. Alright, let's actually use some multi shot in here. No, guy down here. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. Three Lunari gone now since it all began. Perhaps I am the only one who still looks upon Lunaris. Who remembers her name. Soon, I will be gone. And the moon will go on alone. My husband has returned, and he hunts for me. My dead husband hunts me. 
Corrin, too, and my uncle. Corpses rise and walk and feed. My girls, they walk now and feed. God has forsaken us. Lunaris is my witness. Tonight, I return to my family. Oh, let's feel bad because there's zombies and undead creatures. Uh, not really. I don't feel bad. It's their own damn fault. <laughs> yeah, we've already been down that way. So, where exactly can we go from here? So, we need to go sort of this way, I think. Oh, maybe up and around. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Well, this is like a windmill. The moon was full the night of the Black Storm. It is full again. They have come for me. They have come for my daughters. Ravalo called out while the others skulked and muttered in the darkness. Corrin went to them, arms open, welcoming. The nightmares told her to. My uncle tried to stop her. Ravalo crushed his skull with his smith's hammer. I barred the doors and windows, but they screamed like monkeys and beat themselves bloody trying to get in. I had no choice. I took my two youngest and fled through the cellar, following the tunnel to the mill. All we can do is hide and hope. God help us. Yeah, we already know how that turns out. <clears throat> Anyways. Whoops, that was the wrong button altogether. There we go. Alrighty, not getting a whole lot of good loot here. Let's just keep heading up this way. We'll see what we can get our hands on. Maybe we can complete a quest. Anyways. Yeah. That the uh, animate weapons spell isn't so useful. There's another one that I just picked up where it animates weapons or armors and turns them into some sort of uh, golem or something like that, but I can't use that yet because it's not the right color for the sockets I have on the items I have, so maybe we'll use that later. Well, let's try this cleaver. There we go. Come on, cleaver. Let's go. Yeah, it brings a whole new meaning to saying you're going over to visit the cleavers. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. There, that worked out pretty well. Thank you, cleaver. Let's get the mallet going and the all. Iron staff. Well, I guess that's it. Well, we got four of them now and a boss. Perfect. <laughs> My mana is gone. Well, you better take some potions then, haven't you? There, we leveled up. Alright, let's pick up some more crap. <laughs> and what are we going to increase next? Well, I think it's this one. Bow damage and attack speed. Looks pretty good. More damage is always good for this character. And if it comes with attack speed as well, that's actually doubly good because that means we'll be able to... Oh, Chamber of Sins. Here we go. This is where we're headed. Yeah, if we also get bonus attack speed on top of it... Luxury and cruelty go hand in hand. Can I have a turn? Yeah, if we have bonus attack speed on top of it, it's just, a, just that, a bonus, so... There we go. 
Spiders. <laughs> Let's shotgun them all. Don't care what it is. Let's just get rid of them all. <laughs> Yeah, the spread shot works pretty well here in the dark areas because you can't really see what else is out there, but you know there are more monsters. So you just sort of, sort of shoot in their direction and you get a little bit of extra. So anyways, let's keep going here. I'm not sure what we're actually looking for. That wasn't very nice. Fire a few down that way. Okay, retreat. Now we can keep up just regular fire indefinitely, so that's always a good plan. Cleaning out an area. There we go. I'm sure I'm passing by plenty of good loot that's, you know, just higher than what I have as a white, you know? You know what I mean? Like, it's a good white item, but I'm not picking it up because it's not magical. So I'm missing out, but... Eh. If you do it this way, when you do get a piece of loot, you know it's going to be better. But it's just the way I like to do it. Instead of fiddling with loot all the time with items... You're just looking out for specific things, and once you get them, you got them. Let's head back this way. There we go. Dropping a little bit of poison there. That's not good for us. Bad for our health. I like the design of the levels in this game. Most of them just look so wonderful. I mean, look at the floor on this one. And the bones and everything. Just everywhere. It's everywhere. Really looks good. There we go. Get rid of the spiders. Oh, just a zombie. Ooh. Alright, let's move over here. There we go. Let's wait for the poison to clear before we activate that box. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Use a healing potion here. Oops. And let's stay still while we shoot. And we got a whole bunch of crap. Uh, sapphire ring, longsword. We did get one really unusual item. But that was it. Not really worth it, if you ask me. <laughs> so there's a necromancer over here somewhere. So let's take care of him. Let's uh no, we can't use any of those as spectrals. Oh, there he is. One shot, one kill. Very nice. Another necromancer or necromancer. I like necromancer. I think it sounds nicer. These guys. There we go. No problem. Do love these higher than normal guys. Lots of XP. Alright. There we go. Another gem leveled up. Another necromancer in here somewhere. These guys seem to have some sort of ice arrow or something. This could be a little bit of a pain. Let's get out of this poison here. Not doing us any good. We heal up and we'll keep going. I think we got a little bit of lag here. Yeah. 
Our internet's been acting up lately. It's been snowing again. That'd be nice if we could get internet. That isn't effective every damn time it rains or snows or something. <laughs> well, look at these lovely couches. Could have a little sit down for a minute. All right, carrying on. Well, maybe that's lightning. What do they got? Fire's lightning arrow. You know, there's so many guys here that are unusual types specials that it's hard to keep track of them because they're all coming at once. Yeah, let's just press on through. What's over this way? The Chamber of Sins level 2. Now, is there a marker here? No, I don't think there is. Just in the Chamber of Sins. So, let's head on down. Lightning <laughs> uh, skeletons. Lightning damage. But thankfully, they're just melee. The ranged ones are always a problem. There we go. Bone knife. <laughs> like the names of some of the weapons, too. Ooh. now. There's a lot of them. Oop. There we go. That wasn't so bad. A little bit of damage. And another gem leveled up, but we need another level before we can level it up. Or at least something like that. Orb of fusing. Ah. Love all the orbs that drop now. Before they were actually a little bit difficult to get a hold of. And there's a waypoint over there that is perfect. I think that guy was trying to curse me. That was a little bit unexpected. Yeah. Again, this is much easier. This area. With this power archer as opposed to the speed archer. I don't know, you just can't get the same DPS by going for speed as you can with uh, damage. So, let's head on back. Whoa, look at that guy's suit. <laughs> That's quite the set of armor. Not, not you, the other guy. Anyways. Let's get out our wisdom scrolls. Let's see what we got here. 140 quality plus 11. Nah, that's way better. Um, steel, no. No, I don't really want anything else here. Well, these are pretty special, but if I sell them unidentified... You help us, and we help you. Yes? I will get... Yeah, some of these transmutation shards, which are worth much more. So let's put all of these over here. And let's... Yeah, we'll just put some of this in our stash. So here are all the... Let's continue with the Chamber of Sin. Find what sins have been committed here. If I can watch where I'm going. Ooh, a recurve bow. Maybe we can fancy that up. So I think there's a third level to this. That guy looks like a boss. There we go. Not too shabby. Let's get rid of his brethren. Ooh. Now that's a boss. Freeze him. Pierce him. Fire him. <laughs> Lots of loot that time. Let's keep going. Should be a lot more spiders. There you go, just die. Ooh, nice shot there. That was a good shot with the necromancer. Necromancer. But there's another one. Alright, let's retreat for a second. 
Target him down. Oh, there's another one hiding over here. That would only slow me down. Oh, shut up. There we go. All right, so let's have a look at our inventory here. Oh, what a mess. This is one thing I do not like about this game is how the inventory cannot sort itself properly in. I think that goes for any of these types of games. You'll always be playing inventory Tetris the whole time. And I mean, it's not so bad with older titles, but newer titles, they can they can do a better job than this. Yeah. So let's actually call it there. I think that's been long enough. I haven't I wasn't really uh, going to get into a deep playthrough. I just wanted to come in and play it again and share it with you. Remind everyone about it and remind myself that it exists. Maybe I'll get back into it a little bit. Maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, so that's been me just playing around with Path of Exile. I hope you found that enjoyable. And I want to say thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye.